Before we get into the video, do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. So this video is a bit different today. This news comes straight from Arlington, Texas. Now what is it about Texas that they have one of the highest mass shooting rates in America, yet they will never pass a gun control legislation? It does not matter whether innocent people have been murdered. I mean, after all, there's been over 130 school shootings in Texas alone since 1970, and yet another one has taken place. So yesterday, October 6th, four people, including a female student and an English teacher, were injured during a school shooting at Timberview High School in Arlington, Texas. Now, police have identified 18-year-old Timothy George Simpskin as the shooter. Now, by all accounts, this was not the run of your mill disgruntled school kid that armed himself with a gun in order to turn his frustration and anger into a pile of dead bodies. This was, by all accounts, a fight that took a turn for the worse. According to Simpskin's family, 18-year-old Timothy Simpskin was regularly bullied at the school, and whether rightly or wrongly, the teenager carried a weapon in order to protect himself from his bullies. The school also knew that Timothy was being bullied, but they did absolutely nothing about it. Now, because the 18-year-old had nice clothes, jewellery, he drove nice cars, and he lived in a well-kept area, some students at the high school saw him as a target, and they messed with him, and that takes a toll on you. Now, the implications of bullying has major consequences. We've all heard about school kids who plot mass murders in schools because they hate the way they were treated. And when they act on that sort of dangerous impulse, everyone can be seen as a target. The bullied, the aggressor, teachers and even caretakers. So reports say around 9.15am, police responded to a call about a shooting on the second floor of the high school. In the shooting, two of the victims were shot, but are expected to survive. A 15-year-old boy was also shot, a female student was shot, and so was the English teacher. With the 15-year-old student who was shot, police have said he currently remains in intensive care unit. Now, the catalyst to the shooting was that an apparent fight had broken out in class, and someone, which may be Simpskin, pulled out a gun. To be honest, it's just a wonder how the hell was he able to sneak a pistol into the school anyway? And when the shooting happened, teachers and students alike barricaded themselves in their classrooms. Now credit where credit is due, because it was also reported that the teachers were the first line of defence if the shooter did break through, so they put themselves in potential harm's way. So kudos. Now as of today, Timothy Simpskins, accompanied with a lawyer, turned himself in for the shooting which was a very smart move. Last thing you want to do is have a man hunt after you because being black with gold teeth and earrings and being so urbanised, you face the chances of being shot first and then asked to surrender second. So far, the 18-year-old is being held in police custody in the Arlington jail and has been charged with three counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. He's being held on a £75,000 bond or I should say dollars. Now, just because he was bullied, that does not make it right to shoot multiple people. His actions are way out of order. He shot a female student, a 15-year-old student, and a teacher. Now, if you shoot during a fight, then the most likely scenario is that adrenaline hit the nervous system rapidly. His twitch muscles overreacted, and his aim was erratic, which is proof the shooter is not responsible enough to handle what comes with owning a gun. Now, during the shooting, over a thousand students were evacuated, and the gun used in the shooting was a 45 caliber handgun. In situations like these, you have to stop the root cause of the problem, and that was the bullying. School districts are so quick to paint a picture as to how their school is operated during these type of situations, but they never want to acknowledge why people take such drastic measures like shooting up a school in the first place. Fingers crossed, everybody makes a full recovery. Stay safe, safe.